then in today's video, I'm going to show you how I remove lens flares from my photos using Photoshop. So most of the time I actually love capturing lens flare in a photo. I feel like it can give an image a really beautiful, soft, almost like mystical feel when you capture a really beautiful lens flare. However, sometimes this doesn't quite work out and you get a more defined looking lens flare such as this, which is really, really distracting, especially when it falls right on your subject's face. So I'm gonna show you guys how I would go around to removing this lens flare and let's jump right into it. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys this right here is the original photo straight out of the camera and then I edited it with my disposable film Lightroom preset which I'll leave a link for down below in case you guys are interested in taking a look. Anyway so the first thing we're going to do is make a brand new blank layer. I use the shortcut command shift n and then we're going to set the layer blending mode to color. Then we're gonna hit B to use our brush tool and I'm just gonna change it back to a normal brush and zoom right into the lens flare here on the face. So this first step is basically just to make it easier for ourselves when we're getting rid of it. So I'm going to hold down Alt and select a color here on the face and then make the brush a little bit smaller change the opacity to about 50% and then just start painting over the bright colors of the lens flare. Cool, so this is basically just going to make life a little bit easier for us as we're getting rid of it. So it's not, you know, a bright green color on top of the model's skin. It kind of already is starting to blend in a little bit. And we're going to do the same thing with this lens flare up here on the hair. And I'm just going to sample from the brown section here and paint over it little by little until it's pretty much all blended in. All right. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to again make another new blank layer. And in order to start removing the lens flare, the main tool that I'm going to be using is the stamp tool. So I'm gonna hit S for the stamp tool. I love using shortcuts when I'm editing because it makes things a lot faster and run a lot smoother rather than having to click on specific tools that I'm using. So I'm hitting S to use the stamp tool and zooming in a little bit more. And I'm going to start by removing this little section here on the ear. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and sample a section of the ear, which we will then paint on top of the lens flare here. So I'm gonna start with nice small little brush strokes and start filling in those lens flares. Something I find that's really important while you're editing something like this is to constantly zoom in and out to see how much editing you're doing. Cause sometimes when you zoomed in, it looks really good and then you zoom out and it can look a little bit unrealistic. So I would definitely suggest to constantly zoom in and out to make sure what you're doing is looking okay. So again, I'm gonna start another new layer. I like to do this every time I start a new section and I'm gonna start getting rid of this section of the lens flare. So again, I want to sample from areas where it kind of looks like it's continuing on from her real skin. So I want to sample kind of this section like in the shadow area. And just slowly kind of tap your Wacom tablet or your mouse or whatever you're using to edit until you're happy with what it's looking like. Cool. So I just made my brush a little bit bigger because we're going to tackle the main section of the lens flare. So I might sample down here and again, just slowly do little taps and little short strokes to try and get rid of the lens flare. Okay, now that we're up to this kind of more defined part, I'm going to make another new blank layer and press J for our healing brush tool. And I'm going to make it around the same size of this and just select somewhere around this cheek area for the texture and just paint over that little section there. Perfect. Once again, another new blank layer and I'm gonna go back to using the stamp tool and once again, continue sampling sections of the skin and blending it out to make it look as natural as possible. So 
So we'll just zoom out and see what that, that's looking like. And I think that looks pretty good. There's like a little light line over here, which I might try and work on a little bit more. So I'm really happy with the way that the face is looking now that we've removed the lens flare. I feel like it looks really natural. You can't really tell that we've gotten rid of anything. The next thing that's now distracting me is the lens flare in her hair. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. So we'll zoom right in. So what I want to do first is focus on this area here. As you can see behind this lens flare, it kind of falls on the solid brown color. So I want to work on that first as it's going to be a little bit easier. I'm going to use an opacity of about about 40% and just sample from about here and just start painting on. Again, I still like to use short little brush strokes. I feel like it kind of stops you from going a little bit overboard and helps you blend it in a little bit more as well. Perfect. And I'm going to make another new blank layer, set my opacity to 20. And then I just want to move a little bit of this texture onto this section here. So I'm going to sample from around here and kind of just see how that looks. It looks a bit weird, so I might sample from down here instead. There we go. Just to like blend it in, make it look a little bit more realistic. So the last thing we need to do is just edit this little section of lens flare here. So once again, I'm going to make a new blank layer make my brush a little bit smaller and then I'm going to try at first sampling from this solid section and see what that looks like. And once I've blended that out a little bit, I'm going to take some sampling from where there are strands of hair and try and line them up as best as possible while I'm brushing that in. Cool. So I'm really happy with the way that looks. And I am now super happy with the final overall image. So I'll show you guys a before and after with and without the lens flare. So this is with the lens flare and this is without. I feel like the image looks so much more cleaner and the focus goes straight to the subject's face rather than getting a bit lost in that distracting flare. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please let me know in the comments below if you've ever felt the need to remove a lens flare from a photo because it was looking too distracting and what lens were you using when you took that photo with the lens flare. For me personally, I'm finding I'm getting a lot of these lens flares with the Canon 35mm 1.4 Mark II. I've seen this kind of look kind of come up on a few other photos that I've taken around golden hour or when it's backlit. Um, but yeah, I, again, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you all next time. Bye.